the front rotors are looking really good. They got done a year ago. Um, the calipers got done too. The brakes got done. So we're good on our brakes in there. Um, but why I have the front tires off, I'm gonna grease. Um, there's three Zerks in here. There's a, um, there's one on the top side here. I can't think of what this part's called right here. It's uh, you got a pitman and your idler arm down that way. Um, but I know that there's one here. There's one here. There's one on the lower. That's your lower ball joint. This upper ball joint is sealed, so I can't get down in there to grease that. Otherwise, they would. Um, so I can't service that one, unfortunately. But the lower one I can, so we're going to grease that. And then on the uh, driver's side, it's the same. You've got one right here on your linkage. You've got one down at the lower ball joint. And then this upper, I can get to it's right there this one's got a, a zerk that's accessible so i'm going to give all these a little bit of grease oh we got our grease gun on there we're gonna grease this baby up just a little bit here going gently. Sometimes these zerks get a little finicky. Sometimes they'll bite you. Just go slow. Sometimes you can get a little uh, I'm trying to think of the word like a little pin like, the nail, like a nail and you can push in on that there's a little pin in there. Okay. So that swelled up. That swelled up nice. Just need to give it a couple. You don't need to get cranking on it so much to where it's bleeding out all every side of it. You can see it just kind of oozing out of there gently. You just want to get it to where it just starts to ooze. Just the littlest bit and then back off. this is that pin I'm talking about on the top of this zerk. Little teeny pin. Sometimes you can take a small punch and you can just push in right there on that little pin. And if it's cold, even if it's warm, sometimes you can take a torch and you can just heat that up with the torch just gently. Don't get crazy on it. But uh, you heat that sucker up sometimes with a torch. Be careful that you're not catching everything else on fire. But uh, you heat that up just a little bit, and sometimes that'll help uh, get that grease moving in there too. I kind of got a little carried away on that one. Uh, the boot on this one's shot. You can see how it's all cracked and everything right there we'll grease it but once they get to this point right here it just starts collecting road dirt and everything and just kind of stinks we're gonna give it some grease anyways but we'll be replacing that before too long if you've got the room grease that front end it'll lengthen the life of it'll lengthen the life of all these moving all these moving components that are in here you want to you want to keep them nice and lubed you don't want to over lube them you don't want to grease them so much that this gas gets blown out but take care of your equipment and it'll take care of you